Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart launch the game. Still not working. Go to the game maker, right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now launch the game and then check still not working. Make a right click once again, select properties and this time type in dash DX12 and then launch the game and then check still not working. You can remove this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Here you can see the game exe file, make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, go to this tab, and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on okay, then make a double click, launch the game from here. Still not working, this time, go to the sec this tab once again, put a check over here, select windows 8, hit apply, click on okay, launch the game and then check if that does not work this time select windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization then hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working here you can see the second exe file do the same thing go to properties and then go to this tab run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working select windows 7 over here hit apply, launch the game, still not working, disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, and then launch the game. Now it's still not working in that case, so when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can remove these boxes, remove these checks from the boxes, and then hit apply, click on OK, do the same thing with the first exe file, properties, and then uncheck all these boxes, hit apply, click on OK. Now follow the next step, next step is to if you are using any third party antivirus like Avast, AVG, Norton, McAfee, Bitdefender, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you are using Windows security, then open Windows settings. Now, if you have Windows 11, go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 10, click on update and security and then click on Windows security. Now, click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the end, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on manage ransomware protection and then click on allow an app through control folder access and then click on yes to allow and then click on add and allowed app browse all apps go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder open the steam apps folder now open the common folder open the game folder now select the first exe file and then click on open and then again click on add and allowed app browse all apps select the second exe file then click on open once the game is added over here now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app browse and then select the second exe file. Click on open, now click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Now, if check if there is any other exes file for the game. So add, add all the game exe file if you find any. So these two are the only exe files so select the both the exe file add it once it is added now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver this is important so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website and update your graphics card driver perform a clean installation i'm showing for nvidia so go to NVIDIA website and then select a product type. For me, it's GeForce Experience. So I'll select GeForce. Now for product series, select your series. So make sure that you select your series and select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. And this is Game Ready Driver. Now click on Search and then click on Download. Now once the download is complete, uh, run the exe file. So click on download once again.
and once the download is complete you can run this exe file now once you run the exe file click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game or dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file now click on add and once the game is added click on options select high performance click on save go up again click on browse and then select the second exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game file this is important so make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity game files now once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 so you have to run both x86 and x64 download both the files and install both the file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install once both files are installed then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version now this is important so open windows settings go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed now restarting mirror and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer 
make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, the next step is to, if you have any third party application, uh, sorry, third party devices connected to the computer, disconnect all the third party services. So if you have these devices connected, disconnect it. If you have extra control connected, disconnect it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, uh, make a right click on the game and then select man properties and in general tab if the option which is enable the steam overlay while while in game if this is check uncheck this box and then launch the game next step is to close all the overlay applications so if you have overlay on in discord turn it off if you have overlay on in geforce experience turn it off or you can close all the overlay application and then launch the game also, if you have any kind of overclocking application running like MSI, Afterburner, Reboot Tuner, so make sure that you close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. Also, perform clean boot. Now, for this, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all and then click on apply. Click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now, if nothing is working, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. Now, for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select Manage, then click on Uninstall. Now, after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, then delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then reinstall the game to C drive. So, sometimes we install the game to D drive or E drive. So, if the game is installed to any external drive or D drive or E drive, then try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then you can try to install the game to another SSD or HDD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get, get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.